Um, this is my first time. I don't know how to do this. I have no idea how to wash my body. But what? Give me a break. This all started about an hour ago. Gosh, today was a great day. I saved the lost grandmother in the morning. And she gave me a Mikan for helping her. Eh, I'll try to forget getting scolded by my boss for being late for work. I'm so glad I've been taking my vitamins. They helped me focus. I got my work done early today. I felt jolly walking down the street after work that day. My boss is always so ill-tempered. Maybe I should give him some milk to relax. Milk from Hokkaido is the best. He should try some. Hmm? I never knew there was a shrine here. But it looks like it's been here for a long time. Hmm... Hello? I don't know what kind of god you are, but thank you for keeping this neighborhood safe. I will be forever grateful if you could keep me safe as well. Am I asking for too much from a god I don't know? Your prayer has been heard. Seriously? <laughs> yeah! My hard work has finally paid off! Wait, what? My name is Rin. I am the god who is enshrined here. You were lucky to meet me. You aren't handling life well. Oh, you're the type of god that looks down on humans. You have been gifted the honor of bringing me home to your abode. I will make sure you are rewarded if you treat me well. Hello? Is this the police? Yes, I'm at a shrine and there's a suspicious boy. W don't call the police! I said boy, but he looks more like a university student. Obviously, he's no god. I bet he ran away from home. You should go home if you don't want me to call the police. Your parents must be worried about you. I'm sure they have a warm dinner waiting for you. I have decided. I'm never going back there. I would rather sleep on the streets than go back to that house. I feel so suffocated there. A god would never sleep on the streets. Well, I've heard that camping solo is a thing now. <sighs> Fine. You're lucky you bumped into me on a good day. I'm feeling generous today. You can come over. Really? You can't back out of it now. Just make sure you don't complain about how small my place is. I'm a man of my word. I know, I'm way too generous. I should receive a reward for being this kind. The thing is, I have to help people when I see them in trouble. Hey! I just realized I haven't gotten your name. Yuki. You can call me Yuki Onichan or Yuki Nisan, or whatever you would call an older brother. I see. You've been longing for a younger brother. Come on in. It's not the most luxurious place, but... Thank you for this. Yeah, it's about the same size as my dog's house. It's not that bad. Do not compare my place to a dog house. Jeez, how huge is your dog? So, um, how much should I pay for staying overnight? I have to apologize, I don't have much cash on me at the moment. It's okay, you don't have to pay. I wouldn't pay to spend a night in a dog house. But I have to do something to repay your kindness. Really? If that's the case, you can clean the bathroom for me. I'll make us some dinner while you're cleaning. Rin, you must be hungry, huh? Clean... the bath? Oh my gosh, are you saying you don't want to clean a man's bathroom? Because I'm 25 and single? No! Don't cry, I'll clean it. Gosh, I wonder when the last time I had a friend over at my place was. I don't know how, but I've lost contact with all my friends. <laughs> Oh, these onions are making me cry. Oh, damn it. Whoa! What is it? Is it a cockroach or something? Um, this is my first time. I don't know how to do this. How do you clean a bathroom? What? How does he not know how to clean a bathroom? Seriously, is he an alien? Your shirt is soaking wet. Huh? Uh, uh! Whoa, what? I can't hear anything! Wow. Totally can't hear you. But you should get out of here right now. Calm down. Calm yourself, Yuki. I don't have much experience with women, but I'm pretty sure Rin had women's underwear under her shirt. Is it something he's into? Maybe he's got a freaky side to him. But no. The way he reacted, and the way his body is built, Rin is probably a woman. About an hour later... So, um... Yeah? I'm sorry about earlier. You surprised me. Anyway, I put in some bath salts and took a bath. Uh, you're uh, pretty shameless, huh? You uh, took a bath after what happened? Uh, 
I've been suffering from chest hair. It got pretty thick after I turned 20. I'm sure you saw my chest hair through my shirt earlier. I was embarrassed. It's not my best feature. So, she's going to keep claiming she's a guy. Doesn't she realize how ridiculous she sounds? How can she think I would believe that was chest hair under her shirt? Gosh, I uh, didn't think you were over 20, Irin. Uh, yes, I am. It's been 20 years since I came down to the human world. She claims her chest hair is troubling her, but she won't give up trying to convince me she's God. Still, if she's a girl, I can't let her stay outside during the night. I'm sure she has her reasons for running away from home. I guess I'll pretend I believe her. I see! Chest hair! <laughs> I get it, but it sounds uh, very manly. <laughs> okay then, I made us some curry. Um, okay. Itadakimasu? Great. I'm pretty sure I've convinced him. Mmm, delicious. It tastes different from the curry my chef makes, but I like it. It's mild and gentle. Oh, come on. You're flattering me. First an apartment-sized doghouse, and now she has a chef at home. How wealthy is her family? Oh, I almost forgot. Seriously freaky is on today. <laughs> uh, uh, my bad. You're not a horror fan, huh? It, it doesn't bother me at all. I'm a guy. I'm not scared that easily. How pathetic would that be? A guy who's afraid of ghosts. That's so sad. She tried to act tough for a while, but... Hey, I'll sleep on the floor. You can use the bed, okay? What? No, that won't do. <laughs> Jeez, are you saying you won't sleep on my mattress? So what if I sweated a little while sleeping yesterday? That's not what I meant. Who will save me if a ghost pulls at my feet in the middle of the night? I need you by my side to save me if that happens. And so, here we are. This is fine. Rin is a guy. Rin is a man. A man with thick chest hair. We're both guys. There should be no problem with this. Y you're right. We're both uh, grown men. I've never slept in a bed this small. I should be careful not to fall off. <laughs> Too close! Scooch to the other side, then. Get away from me! I couldn't sleep that night. I left my apartment and headed for my office sleep-deprived. Oh, I can still feel her against my back. She was so warm and cozy. Hey, Yuki! Why are you falling asleep on me? Where are the papers we need for today's meeting? Oh, uh, good morning, boss. I sent you the files. They'll be in your inbox. Here, this is for you. Have some milk. Huh? You moron! Are you trying to tell me I'm short? No, your height has nothing to do with this. Uh, calcium is good for you. Ah, uh, shut up! I'm deleting the files. I'll give you five minutes to rewrite the files. <laughs> Can you believe that happened? Do you think he prefers coffee with milk? I don't think that's what he was upset about. Did you get him the documents on time? Yep, thank God. Uh, it sounds like I'm in a factory or something. What are you making? Omelette rice. Omelette rice? See? I'm done. It looks pretty good considering this is my first time making it. Yeah. Well, uh, never judge a book by its cover. Here, open your mouth. Uh, why? You're tired. Let me do this for you. Open up, Yuki. So? Is it good? Wait, are you crying? <laughs> it's been so long since I ate a homemade meal. I can't help it. Oh my gosh! You're overreacting. Do you want seconds? Then you might want to learn how to crack an egg properly. Oh, is it that bad? A week passed since I first brought Rin back to my place. Rin has been doing all the housework for me. She cooks, cleans, and does the laundry. I think it's because she doesn't want me to see her underwear. Still, her cooking has improved drastically, so you won't hear me complain. I should teach her how to make Nikujaga. <laughs> You're in a great mood today. Did something good happen? Uh, Sasaki-san! Good morning! This is Sasaki-san. She's one of my colleagues. She's known as the prettiest woman in the office who is good at what she does. Uh, it's just... Uh, things have been going great these days. I see. I would love to hear more. Mm, he seems to be overflowing with energy. Maybe he found himself a girlfriend. 
I hate seeing him so happy. I should check who he's dating. I had no idea about the drama planned for me. I arrived home and told Rin about Sasaki-san. So, when my boss took my idea and said it was his own, Sasaki-san stepped in and defended me. She stood up and told him straight up. We all know that was Yuki's idea. In the end, my boss never admitted to stealing my idea. But I have so much respect for her. <laughs> She's not just a pretty face, that's Sasaki-san. Rin, you're quiet today. Is something wrong? Are you homesick? No, it's... it's upsetting. Your stomach? I'm sure I have some medicine for it. Sasaki-san recommended it to me. Sasaki... Sasaki! Is she all you can talk about? Ugh, I get it. You like her. You have feelings for Sasaki-san. I apologize. You can't have her over as long as I'm here. I should leave. Goodbye. Hey, wait a second! Rin! Calm down! Let go of me! I'm leaving! Right now! <gasps> Watch out! My bad. This is embarrassing. I was jealous. Guys get jealous at times, you know? Oh, uh, <laughs> um, you're right. I guess it happens. <clears throat> no way! It can't be! The next morning... Hey, open this door! Huh? That sounds like my boss. I heard my daughter was here. Is that true? Mr. CEO, what can I do for you? Father? How did you know? Father? Ben, you had me worried sick. So you're the one who kidnapped the CEO's daughter. You should be ashamed of yourself. Uh, kidnapped? That's not what happened. You have to believe me, sir. You don't deserve to work for me anymore. Just be glad I'm not calling the police. Ben, come on. Let's go home. You don't have to be in this doghouse anymore. I don't want to. Rin Rin, please don't make things difficult. Rin Rin? Father, Yuki-san didn't force me to leave. I left because I wanted to. He has done nothing wrong. If you still insist on firing him, I'm cutting all ties with you, Father. I don't want that. Mr. CEO, don't let this affect you. I'm sure Yuki has your daughter under some spell. So you're the one who's been treating Yuki-san horribly. I heard you took credit for his work. Th that is a ridiculous accusation. Ridiculous? Hey, did you call my Rin Rin ridiculous? I didn't say that. And you took credit for someone else's work? Oh my gosh, last month's presentation. So that's why your explanation was brief. It wasn't your idea. I don't need employees who treat their colleagues that way. If this is true, you should be fired! But, but sir... Now you know, I'm a woman. I'm sorry for deceiving you. Yeah, I knew. Huh? It's amazing how she thinks I didn't know. But, gosh, I had no idea you were the CEO's daughter. I should have treated you better. I apologize. And, uh, thanks for defending me earlier. I don't know what I would have done without you. I won't have to be bullied by my boss anymore. I owe you big time, Rin. There's no way I can have a happy ending with the CEO's daughter. I'm just an ordinary guy. Don't say that. You're making it sound like this is goodbye. Uh, uh, hey. I like you, Yuki. I think I have feelings for you. You think? You're not sure? Well, I mean, it hasn't been long since I met you. I can't believe I developed feelings for you this fast. But, I do. My heart hurts when I think about the women you meet at work. I get so jealous, I lose my cool. I want to ask you if you'll be my boyfriend, Yuki. I should be the one asking you. I'm such a pathetic guy. I like you despite your patheticness. What's your answer? Yes, of course it's a yes. And so, Rin and my relationship started. It wasn't long before Rin moved in with me. Are you sure you want to live here? It's a doghouse. I wouldn't want to live anywhere else. It's cozy. Huh? I get to cuddle up to you since it's so small. Do you want to get a smaller room? Then we would never be apart. <laughs> what did you think of today's episode? Please come back tomorrow for more. Thanks for watching. Bye.